Gamora 12 is alive. Gamora 12 has tons of new features, but today we're just going to talk about keyframing. Uh, in Filmora 11, we were able to keyframe a few things, uh, but now we can keyframe almost every single thing in Filmora. And let me try to show you a little demonstration here. When you first start off, uh, your screen's going to look something like that if you have chosen the timeline version of the workspace. But regardless, you're going to get um, some video color speed and stuff like that up here somewhere. I've imported a little clip of some tractors driving down the road. And we're going to start by just kind of stretching this timeline out a little bit and choose color. And what we want to do is get our keyframes set up. So we'll back up. So we back up one frame and you'll notice they all grayed out on us. So we can't do anything until we get the proper position. There we go. One frame forward and they're all lit up. Let's go ahead and click on color. We can now keyframe every single thing under color. Okay. Let's unclick color. Now let's just go to vibrance. Click vibrance. Now we can just keyframe vibrance. And that's what we're going to do. So let's set our vibrance to 100%. Like I said, we're trying to bring this, we're going to boost the color of this red to the max. Now we can also do a few other things, but we'll leave one just for this demonstration. Okay. Now let's figure out where we want to stop the keyframe. And I'm going to stop it right as the tractor leaves the screen. Right there. So I will click on vibrance again. That will designate the end point. In which case, I will set the virus back to zero. Now, I'm going to scroll across here, but instead of looking there, I want you to look on this vibrance line. And you can see what's happening. I'll go back from the beginning to forward. You can see that we're now 100% to zero as we leave the screen. And for the first time ever, we have been able to keyframe our colors. All right, next. I'm just going to kind of move the mouse around a little bit. See the little picture of the hand and the finger? That means we can click on that and bring the timeline directly to the last keyframe. Now watch real close here. This is very small, but you see we've got the keyframe on. We've got a little arrow to the left. That took us to the beginning. Now we have a little arrow to the right. That brings us to the end. Very, very handy when you're working with this stuff. Next up, we're going to add in a few more keyframes under the video section. But before we go there, I want to show you something. I'm going to show you how this Filmora 12 works. Under color, we can see our keyframes. Okay. You can also see there's a green line running, green bar running there indicating we've got something going on. When we switch back to video, that is now a lighter color and there are no keyframes because we haven't keyframed anything under video yet. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and keyframe a little um, scaling. So let's go to transform because I want to do uh, keep these locked in X and Y. The second we click that, it places the first point for us. Let's move the thing ahead, the playhead ahead. What we're going to do is we're going to we're going to uh, scale into that blue right until he leaves the screen, right there, and that'll be the end. So let's go ahead and hit our end point. So right now it's still set to a hundred and a hundred. So nothing really happened. Let's go to our beginning point. We can do that by doing that. And our scale is at 100. We'll go to the end point and make our scale. Uh, let's just double it up. Make our scale 200. Okay. And that's that. Let's go back and watch what happens. Watch the scale line up there, 100, and you can see it increasing. And then when it gets... So what do you think is going to happen when it gets to the end, guys? What do you think is going to happen when I pass this point? It locks into where you left it. So it locks into full. So we're keyframed. We're scaled up through this section so we can see the blue tractor better. 
But then when we get to the end of that, we're still at 200, but we don't want to be at 200. So what do we do here? Well, we just simply go one frame ahead and make it 100. Or whatever you want to make it. I'm going to make it 100. So now it brings it back. And that is the beginning of a keyframe, but you do not need to complete it. You don't have to complete that. You don't have to have an endpoint to it because it's, it's just going to stay where it is until you mess with it. So now we're back to 100. That's a lot of trackers. And let's do something with this guy right around in here. So let's go ahead and keyframe uh, glitch dispersion. So there's our glitch. And lo and behold, there are some little diamonds here. So yes, we can keyframe our effects. That's something new. We've never been able to do this before. So all you need to do is highlight the effect that you want to work with. Set your position. And we'll go with um, strength and opacity. So strength, we're going to go ahead and increase the strength. And we'll bring the opacity. We'll leave it at 100. We'll set our endpoint at the end and bring our opacity to zero. You can see the two diamonds. And watch our glitch dispersion. Speeding up and opacity fading out. Okay, so you can see now that you can um, keyframe, like I said, just about everything. Imagine the things you can do with this new Filmora 12. Can we keyframe a sticker? So the sticker is basically a little video, and this is, happens to be a subscribe button. It's built in. You can already see all the little diamonds all over the place. And of course, under speed to keyframe, you would basically use speed ramping to replace keyframing there. You know that. So here at the beginning of the little subscribe thing, uh, let's go ahead and uh, bring the brightness pretty down. And at the very end of it, we'll scale the brightness all the way up. And at the beginning. Put one at the beginning, put one at the end, and watch it play. Dark and getting brighter, maximum, and then it goes away. So now we've seen where we can keyframe a sticker, an effect, a video, just about everything. Titles, let's keyframe a title. So we'll just leave this at default. I think it just says art or it just says text going across. So what can we do? Well, to answer that, all you got to do is look for the diamond. So under transform, we can rotate it. We can scale it. We can change its position. And we can also do compositing, blending, and opacity. So let's go ahead and keyframe it. Let's start it right there. Zero rotation. And you know what I'm going to do. We'll get here to the end, give it an endpoint, and give it a number. 360. And watch it spin. And that's it, everybody. There's a lot more you can keyframe. All you got to do now is just go look for the little diamond, set your beginning point, set your end point, set whatever it is you're trying to do in the middle. And you're pretty much unlimited at this stage. Uh, your videos are going to be greatly enhanced now with Filmora 12. That's it. Hit the bell for notifications. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me some comments. And we'll see you real soon on the next Filmora video.